Y'all tune in to Real Life Street Stars and make sure you go get that app off of Google Play. Download it now. Contemplating while I'm skating on them datings through the roof. I vision greatness and these niggas good at hating. So I cock, cock, cock that hammer back. I feel like Thor, Dallas my residential, I'm claiming it to the core If you ain't busting nobodies, what you aiming it for? I'm shooting it like I'm Kobe, I'm trying to even the score Wheels on spin, got these niggas going nuts So my coach put me in, this nigga know that I'm clutch So, boy, I'm Illmatic, still Real Life Street Stars, we are here with the Black Market Movement Star K, Ray LaFleur, Mike Yo. Mitch, what y'all doing? Hey, what's happening? What's happening? Man, for the people who are not familiar with the movement or what y'all doing right now, just give us a little background, you know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, really, man, you know, coming together, you know what I'm saying, trying to set the city on fire, man, you know what I mean? Something new, something the city ain't seen in a while, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just trying to present different different avenues, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So, Star K, uh, I had the pleasure to listen to a little bit of your project um, earlier. Yeah. You got a fresh flow, a nice sound, man. How long you been doing music? How long you been doing your thing? Oh, shit. I mean, shit, I've been doing music for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, when niggas used to put the motherfucking tapes in the in the one speaker and had the beat playing in another speaker and recording it that way, you know what I'm saying? But as far as taking my craft serious, probably... Shit, since I was what, like, shit, 22, probably. Yeah, about yeah. 22. Yeah, about 22, 30 now, so about eight years. All uh, right, man, I kind of got ahead of myself, man. T everybody, tell us where y'all from, man. Shit, we, man, tell us where y'all, where y'all hail let, from. I'm gonna let Mr. Mitch go first, though. Uh, originally, I'm from, I'm from Los Angeles, California. Okay. Uh, you been plugged here. in out there? Uh, just, just a little bit. <laughs> Already, just a little bit. Give it to you after this. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, been here about six years, man. Just been moving. Star was like the first dude I met, you know, since, since I've been here, and we low keep been rocking ever since. And uh, so that's so that's that's my background. Small piece. Just I'm from LA. Nigga came from came from there to here, trying to make something happen, and I've been stuck ever since. How is the music scene out here versus out there in LA? I mean, the, the style is different, but the hustle the same. You know what I'm saying? The saturation is the same. You know, uh, what's that? Crabs in a barrel? It's all the same. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I think that's everywhere you go. I've been to a few different cities and states, and it's all the same shit when it comes to the music. And niggas really trying to get out. It's all the same hustle. It's all the same grind. It's all about networking and getting out there and, you know, shaking hands. I, I, I look at the shit as like, you know, a president running for, you know, a candidate running for the presidency of the United States. Right. You got to go around. You got to make your rounds. You got to kiss the babies. You got to shake the hands of those who's making moves and getting really in the in the face of those who's putting money behind something. You know what I'm saying? And who's 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 your consumer? That's how I look at it. You know what I mean? And <clears throat> so the difference between here and there is just the style of music, not so much the, the grind or the hustle. Right. Man. Uh, Star K, man, two R's when you spell that thing. Uh, straight out the Grove, you know what I mean? Straight out the Grove, the born and raised. Yeah, straight out the Greeter, man, born and raised. You know what I'm saying? Uh, spent time in the BFL, but I'm Pleasant Grove raised. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, man, music, passion, you know what I'm saying? Venturing out to the black market movement side of stuff, trying to get into the business side. Open up a couple avenues for, you know what I'm saying, young artists and inspiring people that want to do their thing around the city, though. Yeah, and it's your boy Ray LaFleur, straight out the greedy, you know. Shoot, we've been kicking it ever since, man. You know, me and Star, we go back, go way back, as a matter of fact, shit. Shit, we've been just pretty much out there just trying to hustle, trying to grind, trying to get it by any means necessary, you feel me? So, shit, we ready to, you know, take things to the next level. And shit. So, who started the black market? Man, that was me and Ray, yeah. and uh, we brought Mike in, you know what I'm saying? So it was just a vision we had, man. You know, we were sitting around the house like, shit, you know, he do paints, tattoos, mm -hmm. artwork, anything you need. So 
we sitting around the house like, man, shit, we got talent. We need to do something with it. So that was, you know, Black Market. The name came from the Robin Hood theory. You know what I'm saying? Rob from the from the poor, give to the rich. You know what I'm talking about? So Black Market moving, man. Yeah, just a little bit, just to piggyback on that, you know, it's, it's a little bit backwards, uh, you know, give give to the poor. <laughs> well, well, you know. Right. We knew what that nigga <laughs> meant. We knew what that nigga meant. <laughs> that's what I mean, hey, man. Hey, but hey, that's that's what it is, though, you know. Hey, you know where he slipped? You know, I got his back, and that's man, what it's all about. Shit. Hey, slip. hey, I'm here to I pick mean, up I the pieces, you feel me? I got my nigga. We were going to talk about it after. I got that. my nigga. See, nah. I ain't but gonna, that's your because hey, I'm the cleanup, hey, yeah, man. Hey, you feel hey, me? Hey, shit, hey I'm the cleanup, man. So, hey, we real tight knitted, you know, closely, closely connected. So, shit, yeah. that's how we rock so I ain't gonna let my nigga go out like that. Uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> this shit is yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. That shit is, so hey, shit. Hit it, nigga. Hey. Hey. Yeah. So, how y'all feel about the Dallas music scene, the DFW music scene? Because uh, it's it used to be Dallas, but now it's more so DFW coming in with the with some nice artists, man. So, how y'all feel about the scene right now? I mean, shit. Music is music, bro. I can't tell a nigga what he doing ain't music. At the end of the day, as long as a nigga feeling what he doing in his own lane and shit, it, it is what it is. I, I big up my city, man. You know what I'm saying? I big up the whole DFW, no matter what corner of life you coming from. You know what I'm talking about? As long as we doing what we need to do, putting the city on the map, putting the state on the map, I ain't no, you know, I ain't no plex, ain't no problem with nobody. You know what I'm saying? So we good. Yeah, as far as the music scene, I feel like it's still up for grabs, you feel me? Um, yeah. the, the market is still open, you know, we still got a lot of talent out here still trying to get out, you know, be discovered and, you know, everything is pretty much open, shit. We, that's, <laughs> it's about as open as this. <laughs> that, that's, you feel sorry. like the city's missing anything? Yeah. Ooh, sh unity, man. Hundred percent. I'ma that? say that. Unity. You know unity. what I'm saying? I'ma say that hundred percent. You go to Atlanta, you got unity. You go to the H, you got unity. You know what I'm saying? You go to Miami, you got unity. You go to LA, you got unity. Shit, you got Snoop working with the game. Like that shit <laughs> shit yeah. shit backwards, you know what I'm saying? But the shit work. You got people in Dallas don't want to function with another person from Dallas. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 the unity is messed up. The shit backwards to me, though. Like, uh, one thing about when people do say unity, a lot of times they mean, like, work with me. So explain, like, what type of unity, what could we do in Dallas to build a unity? Shit, I mean, get out amongst each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't about working with me. You ain't got to work with me. You know what I'm saying? Work with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Anybody. It don't matter who it is. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't feel like you too big to work with a person that you just sat with the other day at ate at the table with. You know what I'm saying? So the table big enough for everybody to get a meal. So, you know what I'm saying? When I say unity, it's everybody work with everybody, not just, you know, me or the next person. But, you know, unity, real unity, though. But do you think, uh, you know, like the recent, it seemed like a lot of Dallas-Fort Worth artists are starting to get on World Star more, starting to get noticed more. Do you think that helps the city? Or do you like the image that's being portrayed? Because <laughs> you See, really, I mean, they represent in the whole city. When that's they that's, a, that's a good um, question right there. I think uh, what the city is really missing is originality. You know, my honest opinion, there's a lot of people out Amen. here just trying to, yeah, just trying to copycat, you feel me? Just stay true to yourself. And that's one of the things that we was talking about the other day, you know, just saying, saying just stay true to your craft, you know what I'm saying? Don't, you, don't, you ain't got to be the next future. You ain't got to be the next, you know, Whoever out there that, that's popping right now and shit, I'm gonna let my brother piggyback on that. Um, I think honestly, I think the city has a, has a little has a lot of diversity, uh, even originality. It's just what's being, you know, what's getting marketed better. You know what I mean? I, that's what it, that's what it boils down to. Who's getting, who's putting the extra effort behind their music? You know what I'm saying? Who's putting extra effort behind their craft? Who's promoting it the best way they know possible? So if they spending the bread to get on World Star, if they doing whatever they is they gotta do to get on those platforms, shit, more power to them. You know what I'm saying? But the ones that's really, <clears throat> that's probably super dope, are the ones not really getting that shine because they just, they so they all stuck in the artist mode, as opposed to just really, 
You know what I'm saying? Get out and get in it. Is, is there any artist that's out there that's on from Dallas or Fort Worth that you feel is portraying the city right? I mean, I, mean, I like, I like, I like Lil Ronnie. Shout uh, out Lil Ronnie. I like Lil Ronnie, man. I, I think, I think he, I think he, 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 he fresh. Like nigga can rap. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He really can go. Uh, that's that's really out there. Yeah, I would I would probably say Lil Ronnie is really doing it. But he did convert from making booty music at first, and then he turned it, he turned it turned it around. I ain't really never seen nobody do it like that. Yeah, yeah. I I think I think he's doing a damn good job. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So being from the Grove, because anybody from the city know that the Grove is not a pleasant place. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how how does that have an effect on your music? And what you talk about in your content. Oh, shit, in life, man. You know what I mean? Like, everything I spit, real spit. You know, we had a uh, conversation about a lyric in, 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 in one of my songs Yeah, yesterday. we did. <laughs> you know, and uh, it just, I mean, it's no different from the north. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no different from the south. It's just that, shit, we all experience shit differently. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But it's the same. We're in the same city, but the shit different. So let me ask you this: Do you think an individual could be coming from a city like a uh, Plano or uh, uh, a, a Rockwall and have a be able to spit that same type of content? Shit, it's a hood everywhere. You know what I'm Amen. saying? It's a, it's a hood where you, everywhere you make it. You know what I'm saying? Like a nigga can tell you ain't a hood in Forney, but shit, it's, it's something in Forney. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And if it ain't, I need to get out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, but you know, it's a hood everywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? So I can't knock a person because they tell me they're from Rowlett. You know what I'm saying? That's where you from, shit, Rowlett, shit, it made you who you are, you know what I'm saying? So, Black Market as a brand, where do y'all see yourself in the next five years? Shit, Rockefeller status. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rockefeller yeah, status, Rockefeller there you go. Rockefeller status, man. It, it, Without the yeah. break up. Mind up to break say, up. Who, who Dame and who Jay-Z? <laughs> oh, hey, man, shit. look, that's big. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's big. big. Yeah, I'm more behind yeah. the scenes yeah, and shit. Right. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so... So when y'all hit uh, the club, right, who going to pull the most hoes? Uh, <laughs> but then you out already. I mean, <laughs> I mean, this shit, I'm, uh, like, pulling hoes to me, man, this shit just overrated, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, not to say, like, nigga can't, that, that ain't, I don't go to the club for that shit no more. When I was, like, 18, 19, yeah, I was finna jump my freshest, try to pull the baddest bitch in the club. Now it's just more satisfaction for myself. How many bottles I'ma pop for myself? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit, yeah, fuck, yeah. A, fuck a bitch. I, hey, that's that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit come with it. Yeah, it come with yeah, it. Yeah. Say shit, they see twenty bottles coming to the table. They finna follow them twenty bottles. So you know, it's, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So hey, yeah. the, they gonna come with it. Yeah, and I'm more on the line of bringing some with me. You know what I'm saying? And then there you yeah. answer. Hey man, I, I can do it. Yeah, I'd rather I, bring I, I them like with me. I like some goddamn for show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. like trying to yeah, guess it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> hey, you can't you can't leave you for show for no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Oh, Devin yeah. said it best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Straight up. So, when you go to the studio, you know what I'm saying? How would you like your vibes to be? What What is the best atmosphere for you to create good music? Shit, I, I just wanna. <laughs> Hennessy. Hennessy. Hennessy, anything can happen. Henne, Hennessy and, yeah, you know, yeah. and some haberdashery. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to have my, and as long as I got my team with me, I, I need niggas around me that's go hear the music and say, yeah, uh, really tell me nah. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody in the studio that's going to tell me everything jam. I fuck around and do some trash on purpose just to see if somebody tell me the shit trash or not. I don't need yes men around me. You got at least two of them, that's all. What yeah. You yeah. <laughs> when was the last time y'all had to tell the niggas like, "Say, bro, that ain't it's gonna get Friday. <laughs> yeah, Friday. Friday. <laughs> Friday. That's yeah, real. Yeah. yeah. Friday. Yeah. Friday. Yeah. <laughs> what? What happened? <laughs> shit it was. I guess it was the way I was delivering some shit. You know, I wasn't delivering right. And, they knew it, so they said the shit. Yeah, and I think it's all about fucking with them engineers that's gonna, you know, pull you by your coattail and tell you, hey, bro, <laughs> that shit don't sound good, you feel me? So you got some of them that's gonna just record and then just, hey, yeah, okay, that's dope. 
Let's dub it. Or let's do this and let's do that. No, just fuck with somebody that's going to be real honest with you and tell you, hey, man, you sound better, you know, delivering it this way or that way. And, you know, I do got respect for those that do. By the way, that is RLP Studios. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Already. We Already. Already. We care. Yeah. We care. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, let me ask you this uh, take on this. Uh, does it get annoying working with people that don't invest in a project? Like, you ever do a song with somebody and that shit just went nowhere? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll probably speak for him. That's why he don't do too many features. You know, uh, it gotta it gotta make sense. You know, uh, you can you pretty much, uh, you may like somebody's work ethic and how they and even how they rap, but it's it's this is a business. And if you got a project no, nobody ever heard, then well, if I do a song with you just because you dope, I mean I'm doing all the work. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I got bring you on the on the on the joints to bring the bigger audience. But if you ain't got no audience, then it's pretty it's for nothing. You feel me? So and that's you can look at some of his records and you got to me features because. I, I, for that's one of the reasons why. <laughs> that's just one of the reasons why. How important is it to have your social media game up nowadays? With the music? Man, uh, shit, I, I argue with my manager all the time, man. And this is my bro, so me and him argue like shit. I'm like, we brothers, so. The shit's shit. important. Like to to me, I, he said shit. Like I delete my shit like every three months. I swear, and he'll go right behind me and reactivate my shit. Like I did, I delete my shit every three months. Like it ain't the shit ain't important to me. It's important to him, so you know. Yeah, I'll I was tell you why. Shit yesterday, he ain't even had that many pictures. Yeah. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like, I, I, and I'll yeah. tell you why. Because some of the best, some of the best connections. Happen via Periscope, happen via Instagram, happen via Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what the, that's what the shit's made for. Right. You know what I mean? So a lot of people just post, 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 and don't really interact. If once you interact with people, you start building that relationship, and then you never know. You you never never know. You know what I'm saying? You might mess around, meet somebody from Chicago, you might meet somebody from New York. You know what I'm saying? Go back even you know, in the city that you're from that's doing something totally different than what you're doing. You feel me? So it's just all about connecting and make, making them connecting them dots. I think it's important because you can build a fan base from around the world. I mean, For sure. you got it really in your hand. You know what I'm saying? But uh, uh, I don't know, man. So like, like, what is y'all's take on the on the whole scene right now? You know what I'm saying? Y'all feeling it, y'all? Uh, as far as what Dallas just, or just, music? Period. Just music in general. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel it. Yeah, because I, I, like I definitely listen to your music and you spitting. You know what I'm saying? Like you really, it, it, it sound like. Some back in the day, niggas really taking the rap serious. Does, yeah. uh, does it kind of like the double XL cipher, for example? You got like eight trash rappers, you know what I'm saying? Eight, eight like, but I mean, the shit got like 10 million views, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like the, the wave, thank, you know. Thank double XL. You don't fuck with 21? 21, 21, 21, 21. <laughs> 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 come, yeah, come, come do an interview, 21. Man. <laughs> it's like, shit, I mean. So we ain't got nobody but ourselves to blame for that shit, though. Like, we accepted that. You know what I'm saying? You accepted the nigga wearing skinny jeans and painting his nails and shit. Like, niggas accept that shit. Like, you have a nigga that, I mean, I don't know, like, young thug. Like, niggas accept that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, not to talk down on thug or nothing like that. The nigga grind is tremendous. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, nigga mind is, is amazing. But you know what I'm saying? But we know back in the 90s, that shit just wouldn't That even, shit wouldn't, wouldn't fly. fly like, you couldn't, like, shit. Like back in the '90s, like you had three different, four different styles of rap. You had your gangster rap, you had your b-boy rap, you had your, your lady rap, and shit. You had your just the f niggas who was talking that fly shit. Yeah. So like now it's like niggas that talking that shit. Does I it, don't know. Does it demotivate you at all? Does it make you be like, I don't know about this shit? I answer that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Yes, every week we gotta have a conversation. You know, this ain't the time. Now I don't like he texted me the other day. He was playing, but I said, "Nigga, I don't want to hear that shit." Then you get your ass up. Let's, let's get to work. So, uh, yeah, yeah. It, 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 even for myself, you know, like this shit trash. I'm, I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's almost something like you sometimes you're spinning your wheels, bro. But at the end of the day, you know, you, you gotta do a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? We gotta do a little bit more, and that's what it would come down to. I so, think. Okay, my bad. Yeah, I think like hip hop in general can go either either three different ways. You know, trash to where don't nobody give a fuck about the lyrics, pop to where everybody is like jamming that shit, and then you know, in a 
just being improved by real lyricists out there. You know what I'm saying? Either, either one of those options. You feel me? And I'm I'm praying that the shit don't go trash for people to where people just only you know ride ride the beat and don't even listen to the content. Cause you know back in the day the shit had a message, whether if it was positive or negative, and the shit made sense. You feel me? Nowadays niggas just okay. You know you can make a whole song about. Xanis, 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 and then hey, how exactly. Would how, how would y'all describe um, y'all vibe of music? Oh shit, I'm gonna let them take the wheel on this one. Shit, I mean, it depends on how I'm feeling at that moment. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, I fuck around and listen to Anita Baker. Like before I listen to some new ass rap, like I I do that shit first. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit got substance to me, man. Like, all this new shit, I I can honestly sit here and tell you I've never heard any nigga on the double XL right now. Now I'm one of them niggas. Lil Yachty, none of them niggas. I've never heard a song from now one of them niggas. You should check it out. You know? I shouldn't. And I'm, <laughs> no, but I, I'm going to tell you why, though. Because you always want to know what your opponent is, who your opponent is. That's why I listen to all these niggas, because I want to know. I want to be a, a concrete judge. Well, I mean, right. it is just my position as in music, because I listen. I, I listen to the trash. I mean, I listen, but I, I dig down deep into the dumpster, because I want, because yeah. I want, I want to have a valid opinion. When somebody asks me, you know, does he go hard? I can say, well, honestly, yes, because I didn't listen to everything. <laughs> Hey, if, if that, that kind of makes it probably like harder to even judge, like if something's gonna be a hit now, right? Because you could be rapping your ass off, and somebody who's mumbling might fuck around and blow. Like that's got to be yeah. tough to. <laughs> like one day, one day, me and bro was riding, shit, and uh, we was listening to Designer. You know what I'm saying? I listened to his project. I thought it was Future. He was like, "Shit, check this out." I'm like, "Damn, that little, little Future junk jamming." He like, nah, that's designer. So I Googled the lyrics and shit. I'm like, man, like the song was dope. I listened to the lyrics. I ain't listened to the song no more. Like none of the words made sense. I was like, what the hell is this, bro? I, I didn't understand it. You didn't like Timmy Turner? <laughs> yeah. I, I'd rock to it. Like the beat was stupid till I look, looked at the lyrics. I, like, I read the lyrics. I was like, see, this shit crazy. You would, you would know that, you know, see, because I, I did my research on him. He's 19. Yeah, and he just having fun. Him. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. He ain't even came into himself. He just doing. He doing. Man, I promise you. At 19, I sounded just like some shit like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And niggas don't have. But they cutting these checks, and niggas like, oh shit, nigga, I can get a rolling. I can get a. I can fuck these hoes. Like yeah. we keep rapping like this. You mean to tell me I, I can actually get like away with this shit? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Um, so who y'all voting for, man? <laughs> who y'all got on the 2016 election? <laughs> y'all voting 21 Savage. Look, man. Shit, with well, me, it's anybody but Trump. Shit. <laughs> I was really contemplating on moving to damn Australia if he get in, in office or something. Some shit anywhere but here, Ethiopia or something. They don't like niggas over there either. Shit, they, they, well, they, they, they shit, somewhere. Nowhere a nigga can go. Actually, yeah, they, they probably, they probably like, fuck with niggas in Australia. Shit, I'm, well, I go to Africa then. I'm on my sincere oh, they, shit. Nigga, the way they treat the Aborigines. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they damn near yeah, killed off and shit. Yeah, <laughs> shit, yeah, man. I don't. I ain't, I'm not voting, man. I ain't voted in like shit. I ain't voted. So that's why I don't have, I ain't got no opinion. Shit, I ain't vote. Do you think your vote counts? Man, I, it, the shit all set up, right, man? That's how I feel. Like, motherfucker go win if he go win. Like, Barack was just destined to win. You know what I'm saying? It was just shit. They had to do that shit at this point in time. Like, they couldn't deny him because he ran. He was a black man, educated. He ran. You know what I'm saying? He had to win. They could not stop him from winning. So, right now, shit, Trump go win. Like, 100%. Like, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. They're not finna have. So, this is my opinion. They not finna have a black man then back door with a white woman in the office. That shit don't make sense. It don't make no don't sense make to no me, sense. fam. That shit don't make it no don't. sense. He knew it was his opportune time for him to get his ass in there and do that shit. He go win. He won. Shit, damn, he go win. You know what I'm saying? I think that's <laughs> how everybody it's, feel. It's, it's some cartoon shit. You, that's the really shit I done heard, because, bro, there is not a white woman. Nah, I said woman. Nah. 
No, nah, man. We gave y'all like, Mexican, but we just gave y'all a black man. Yeah, we just gave eight y'all years, black boy. fam. <laughs> eight years, fam. We gave y'all a black man twice. Yeah, now I'm finna give y'all no woman. Nah, man. It there ain't finna work. Hundred percent. I mean, shit. Man, we done been under the poverty line so long, I don't even feel that shit. When they, when they get in the office. <laughs> yeah. The only time I felt it with gas was $3. I was like, yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. it's getting that bad. Shit. That shit bad. <laughs> now, I was telling bro, like, had a Chevy, buy a Chevy, man. Like, you put about $5 in that joint, you ride around, get you a pack of squares or whatever you finna do. Like, now $5 ain't finna do shit. $5 ain't gonna do shit till you call but, uh, Yeah. yeah. When uh, Obama was in office, did it uh, affect you? <laughs> I had a rook on my ass, man. <laughs> did it affect me? We trying to show me? the people your intellectual side, man. It did so it affect show me? your many facets. <laughs> Shit, it affected the gas. Shit. <laughs> it it yeah. definitely affected. And I wouldn't blame him for that. Like, people blame Barack. Like, he was already in shit when he got in the office. It's like, shit. A person renting the house and they know they got two more days to get out the shit for the new people come in. I'ma fuck the shit up before I get out. Right. Then somebody else go have to repaint the shit, put replaster the walls and shit. So that's what happened. Yeah, it even, was fucked up. Yeah, even back in the day when we had the big ass uh issue about the recession and shit. <laughs> Shit, n- niggas, we been in a recession yeah. since way back when, you know what I'm saying? Dude. So we, yeah, exactly, <laughs> shit, yeah. shit. <laughs> so, yeah, like, so, you know, <laughs> you know shit, no, shit. Yeah. they're making all these headlines about the recession, the market is crashing and all this other bullshit, shit, we been there. This is, okay, now y'all see how, what we going through, you feel me? Yeah. So, shit, yeah. there really wasn't a difference whenever, you know, Obama got in office. It wasn't, man, I feel, and I feel like it was a, a, a a motherfucker who felt the recession that made Uber and shit. The white man was like, shit, gas don't went up to four dollars, nigga. I gotta find me a way to get around this bitch while I ain't gotta yeah. put no gas in my shit. <laughs> Uber. Right. <laughs> shit. Let me use your you know shit. Yeah. 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 So y'all walk into a chick crib for the first time, you know what I'm saying? And uh y'all chilling and y'all see some bed bugs. Oh shit. What's nah. the, what excuse you make to get out of there? Say, I ain't no excuse. See, that's. <laughs> I ain't no excuse. Hey, bitch, and I learned. Na- hey, you, 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 <laughs> bitch, you nasty. And I learned this a long ass time ago. If you ever trying to get away and you stuck in a, you feel like you stuck in a chick house, just act like you stealing some shit, and just try to get caught acting like you stealing the shit. She gonna find a way to put your ass out the house. You feel me? So. Yeah. That's Wait, the, you, you I done did that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't actually stole the shit. You know what I'm saying? You just. Like she come around the corner, yeah, make it look like you about to steal her shit. And she gonna be like, damn. <laughs> nigga, uh, what you feel to do? You know what I'm saying? She hit you with that line, it's time for you to go. What she like, I gotta make to the house. Yeah, but damn. You out of there. He said, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you nasty, baby. <laughs> he said, I was walking out with <laughs> Yeah. Shit, yeah, that's just, I don't know. So, if you could paint a picture of the black market, and it could be look any kind of way. How would that picture look and just des- describe what y'all represent? Black Mount Rushmore, man. Hmm? Black Mount Rushmore. A black Mount Rushmore. Yeah. That's deep. Yeah. Hmm. I would say it's evident that what we do is gonna be set in stone. So, you know, what better way to, to, to remember a person than by something that's everlasting. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, man, that nigga said Yeah, I like that. I like that. He had me over here in a deep thought and shit. He must be a haberdashery. Yeah. (laughs) He put some thought in there right there. He did. Yeah, I did. You just gave me that question before he came (laughs) here. He's ready. Man, uh, y'all got any shout outs? Man, shout out Black Market Kessler. She couldn't be here tonight, man. Uh, Shout out to everybody in Black Market, man. We like shit. (laughs) Shit, it's a lot. So just shout out Black Market, period, man. Yeah. It's a lot of us, man. Bobby, Mike, Rich, Key. I mean, it's just shit. Joe, two time. Like, we got a lot, man. Shout out Black Market. Yeah, yeah. And um, on another note, in the time where you needed it the most, what was the realest thing, man, that happened to you, man? Time that I needed it the most. I'm going to go last on that one. I'm going to go second. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna go third. God damn it. No, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. 
Man, it's been plenty of times where a nigga really needed it the most. You know, it's too many stories to even, you know, come up with right now off the, off the spot. I, I like how you put a nigga on blast, though, but... <laughs> But shit, we even even right now, shit, a, a nigga at a point to where you know we really need it the most. Shit, I'm I'm pretty sure everybody in this room, you know, is at that point now. We all trying to grind, we all trying to hustle, we all trying to get out there. So shit, and, and you know what? Shout out to y'all niggas too. So shout, shout out to my mama. Yeah, <laughs> P.O.P. holding it down. Holdin it down. Yeah, yeah. So the question was. <laughs> What's the realest thing I ever received when I needed it the most? Yeah, like, like someone like helping you in or life. Like that. Yeah, I don't think nobody ever, <laughs> nobody ever uh, noticed about me. But I was like 18 years old. I thought about killing myself. Nobody probably ever. My mama don't know. Nobody knew. But I had a, I had an auntie, who was just kind of like, you know. Say sanctified, filled the whole, you know what I'm saying? So she she already knew. So she kind of like called me and was like, Mike, you know, I want to tell you some things that might want to might help you in your situation. I mean, I felt like, man, I felt like a little, I felt like a failure low key when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? I, man, broken home, then live with my mom's, pops in prison, grandparents. I'm I'm failing. You know what I'm saying I'm doing all kind of crazy shit. So I was like, man, fuck it, I'm finna just go. And uh, my auntie came and she was like, yeah. Um, told me some shit and kind of helped me through that whole little spell. Ever since then, I'm like, man, I don't see how people can even, you know what I'm saying, go through that whole little extreme. But I do understand why people can feel that way. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been there. I got homies that then shot themselves in the head trying to commit suicide and but still living the day because God got a different plan for them. You feel me? Um, so that, that suicide stuff is real. I even did like a whole little study on, you know what I'm saying, on, on that stuff, man. So um, that shit real. Super real, so that's why I take every day now. Like, man, so I guess it could be our last day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and that was that, that, that could be my choice. Have been there, man. You feel me? Myself, you know. Yeah. What I'm saying? I think we all thought about it, right? Right. In some type of form of fashion, man. It's good that you spoke on it, man. Yeah. For real talk. Uh, I would say my son, man, came right when I needed him. Like, I was talking, bro, man. I was in a dark place three years ago. You know what I mean? Like. Shit, wasn't nothing good coming out of it. You know what I mean? Like once you go back, once you come from a road, it's easy to go back down that same road. You know what I'm saying? It's harder to turn around on a slim road than it is to, you know what I'm saying, go back. So, shit, I think my son came at the right time though, hundred percent. Man, shit, uh, tell the people y'all social media, man, they're gonna get in contact you with you for the features or with any type of whatever. Uh, let's see. Twitter is uh Mike Mitch LA. Instagram is LA underscore Mike Mitch. Facebook, Black Market Mitch. I need to probably like make all this shit the same. Make it easy. Make it easier for people. Uh, for features and any info, information about Black Market and Star K, it's just Black Market Music Group. B L A C K M R K T Music Group at gmail.com. So you can find me on pretty much two different sites it's Facebook. Uh, Black Market Ray LaFleur and then Instagram is Ray LaFleur at Ray LaFleur so just find me on those two sites uh, Facebook Black Market Star everything else everything else is Black Market Star so yeah that's everything yeah. so shit Facebook Instagram Twitter everything Black Market Star Black market, black market, black market. You know what I'm yeah. saying, man? We thank y'all boys for yeah. coming, man. We, Appreciate you. Man, we salute y'all, man. We love everything y'all doing, man. Whenever y'all drop your project, man, bring it to us. We're going to blast it, man. Yeah, man, y'all are real life street stars, man. Hey. Right. Appreciate you.